Hey everyone, we are back with more Black Friday Nintendo deals. We have some great games to add to your library and backlogs. If you missed our previous video, I will have that link down below. For today, we're looking at games that are under $3. Every game is at an all-time low, and we have a pretty good variety of genres, so I hope there is something for everyone here. If you enjoy the video or I help you find a game to pick up, please remember to leave a like before you head out and think about subbing if you're new here. Oh, and stay locked in because we'll have more deals coming throughout the next few days. With that, we'll dive in. The Swords of Ditto Mormo's Curse is a co-op action RPG with a unique twist. It offers dozens of hours of gameplay and every adventure starts where the last one left off, meaning that when you die, you start over as a new adventurer and the things that you've done before can and will alter how things play out moving forward. You can tackle the dungeons in any order that you'd like and while the game is fun by yourself, it's a lot better with a friend and local co-op. Of course you have gadgets and upgrades that you'll find and right now it's on sale for 224 the download is around 1.7 gigs. Jets and Guns is a 2D shoot 'em up that offers more than 40 levels of intense action, a wild variety of different enemies and bosses and weapons or power ups to collect. You also have a bunch of different ships that you can pick from, and on top of that, the soundtrack is outstanding. For anyone who's a fan of the genre, you can pick it up at a new low, just 244 and the download is a little under 200 megabytes. SteamWorld Quest Hand of Gilgamesh is a card-based RPG that offers a great story with addictive gameplay. You have three party members that you can swap in and out during battle. There are a good number of cards that you can use to fill out your deck of 24. The animations are smooth and the art fits that typical SteamWorld look that you're used to. It's definitely a deep game that can require strategy at times, and you can expect more than 10 hours of gameplay across the 19 chapters. Right now it's marked down to 249, you'll need a little over 1 gig for the download. Nought is a weird 2D platformer where you don't actually control your character, but rather you control the rotation of the screen and then you let gravity take over from there. Now it does take a little getting used to before your brain kind of grabs onto the concept, but if you can get through that frustration at the start of the game, it is a pretty cool one. The game does ramp up in difficulty big time as you play through, and depending on how tough you find it, you can expect maybe four to five hours of gameplay. Right now you can pick it up for just 259, the download is around half a gig. Atomicrops is a twin-stick farming roguelite that has the player building up and defending your farm while selling items in town and doing other little quests here and there. Now every season will change up the gameplay quite a bit and you can use your crops to help buff up your farm for when the attacks do come. Now sadly, death is kind of the end. There's really no way to save all of your hard work. I mean, there are long-term upgrades, but they take forever. So it is basically a permadeath situation. Now, with that in mind, if you think you'll enjoy the game, it is on sale for $2.99, and the download is around 2 gigs. Broforce is an intense 2D platformer that really is best when played with a group of friends. You can join with three other people in local or online play, and this is one of those games where they took the theme and just ran all the way with it to the end zone. It's 80s and 90s through and through. Every character is a play on an action hero from that era, and it's incredible. On top of that though, they added free DLC in the Forever update that expanded the campaign, added new weapons, power-ups, and characters, and knocked out a few bugs in the process. Right now you can pick it up for just $2.99, and the download is around 1 gig. Riptide GP Renegade is a hydrojet racing game from Vector Unit, the same folks that made Hydro Thunder Hurricane back on the 360. They know how to make good games in the genre, no question, and this one offers online and local multiplayer game modes with local limited to 4, while online expands that up to 8. You have upgrades that you can add in your garage and a lengthy career mode with bosses, and it looks good and handles well here on the console. Right now you can pick it up for $2.99 and the download is a little under 300 megabytes. 
Snake Pass is a unique 3D physics based puzzle platformer that changes up the formula and has us controlling Noodle, the snake. Now as you might expect you can't jump but you can use your body to swing or wrap around things. It is a little bit tough at first but once you get the hang of it you'll be able to use your skills to work through the 15 different levels. Now they do start off easy enough but they can work your brain a bit by the end. The game should take about 5-6 to six hours and it is a joy to listen to as well. Right now you can pick it up for just $2.99. The download is a little over 4 gigs. Wavetail is a 3D action adventure game that follows a young woman as she discovers her secret power to traverse the dangerous waters with the aid of her mermaid companion. The deadly ooze that is taking over is encroaching more and more on the different islands around your home and so you have to go collect these sparks that you can then use to push back the blight. The game is pretty linear and the combat is a little weak by comparison to everything else but at just $2.99 this is a great deal. You will need a little over 3.5 gigs for the download and you can expect about 5-6 to six hours of gameplay. Ukulele in the Impossible Lair is an incredible 2.5D platformer that stars the lovable duo in their second game. The levels are connected through an overworld map where you can find secrets and alter the world itself to change up the actual levels. Almost all of them have two versions and of course with it being inspired by games like Donkey Kong Country, you have collectibles defined in each of them as well. On top of that you can find tonics which will modify the game's look, feel, or sound which adds just a little more fun into the mix. You can expect about 10 to 15 hours of gameplay from the pickup and it's on sale for just $2.99. The download is a little under 5 gigs. Alright everyone and here are more great deals that are live right now for Black Friday on the Nintendo eShop. Alright everyone, that does conclude this video, but we will have more deals coming your way over the next several days. I hope to see you all on those. Remember to let me know what games you're eyeballing this year. And with that, take care, happy gaming my friends, and we'll catch you on the next one. Super Metro